you mm -hmm. want to try to make the virtual holiday party feel different than everything else we're part of as close to though it obviously is going to be different that in-person counterpart and so first up like make it fun not serious uh, one of the best ways to ruin excitement for a virtual holiday party is to make it feel like an all hands meeting or you know taking attendance or worrying that people are late etc so making it fun and not serious is a big deal and i think that's pretty obvious but i think it's surprising sometimes we just get into the habit of like oh webinar has to be all polished and we can't talk and chat or i mean we do this at our company and we're 18 people and i regularly try to make uh, any event that's different than like a regular meeting somehow feel different even if it's just like i don't know some cross-functional team thing um and then two related to that like make it look different so if you want it to be fun and not serious and take a little bit of the like work piece away from it uh make it look different and this is where really like the thematic or kind of branding piece comes in the examples you know full confession are just snap bar examples i just took about how we go about like branding things for our clients when they're looking to have you know, holiday a holiday party experience from a virtual photo booth perspective but you can brand the virtual and kind of create themes around the virtual event platforms you're in um we've talked on some of these webinars before in the past about a company that i really love called uh, gather town where you can create like a 2d world to walk around in and recreate your office or recreate some happy hour spot that the team used to go uh, to so there's a lot of ways to make it feel and look different 